And joining us live on the show for more on this from Led from Melbourne, we have Professor Sharam Akbarzade. Professor uh, Professor Akbarzade is the convener of the Middle East Studies Forum and deputy director for the Alfred Deakin Institute for Citizenship and Globalization. And thanks very much for joining us on We're On, Professor. Thanks for having me. Right, and Professor, the United States of America has clearly expressed its support for Israel and has reiterated its support uh, with Blinken visiting the Arab nations to keep the conflict from spreading further. Uh, what's your assessment of the U.S. involvement and what kind of signal is Washington trying to send across at this moment? And also, are you optimistic of any negotiations as uh, Blinken visits these Arab nations? Okay, well, thanks for the questions. Uh, first, I have to start by saying that the United States is not an impartial player in this. The United States has been a, a very close ally of Israel, and uh, it has come out very strongly in support of Israel. Um, and um, even though it was very clear that Israel has been um, responding, um, over re um, responding not proportionally, proportionally, but disproportionately, to Hamas attacks uh, by um, engaging in uh, aerial bombardment, which is in in indiscriminate and affects civilians. The U.S. has been supportive. Only recently, only in the last couple of days, the United States has made statements about respecting international rules of engagement uh, in conflict, uh, which is a very veiled reference to uh, what Israel is doing. So putting that aside, um, the United States clearly would not wish to see the conflict spread to the region. Yes. Uh, there is a great risk of that spread. Uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon has already been exchanging mortar fire with Israel. So there is a very serious risk of Hezbollah's involvement. By the same token, Israel has been targeting um, um, and the Damascus airport uh, in Syria. So Israel is also um, risking expansion of the conflict to the region. So the U.S. is concerned, and I think everyone in the region is concerned about this spread. Right, Professor, just a follow-up of the point you made there on the expansion of the conflict at the moment. Well, in the latest, Iran's foreign minister has warned that if Israel's uh, bombing of Gaza continues, then the war may open on other fronts as well. How do you assess this, this statement by Iran? And uh, clearly, Israel is facing a multi-pronged war at the moment. Yeah, Israel is facing a multi-pronged war, but it is very much of its own making. And uh, you have to go back in history, not not a long, long way back, but just look at how Israel has uh, been occupying Palestinian lands, occupying Lebanese land, um, and right. really uh, acting as an oppressor uh, in the Middle East. So as a result, it has created the environment where the oppressed is uh, an environment where people under occupation are lashing out and um, and engaging in acts of barbarism. There are clearly uh, horrible, horrible incidents happening in uh, that conflict. But Israel is not an innocent party. Israel is a state that is occupying uh, Arab land. Professor Akbar Zadeh, now um, the strikes by Israel on Gaza is a retaliation after the attack by Hamas militants on Israel over the weekend. Uh, but I also want to ask you as to, just to follow up on that, as to how Israel has started targeting tunnels built underneath the Gaza Strip by Hamas with one IDF spokesperson saying that, uh, think of the Gaza Strip as one layer of for civilians and then another layer for Hamas. Uh, but uh, like you mentioned that the casualties have been rising in Gaza as well but the question being that will Israel be able to differentiate uh, between Hamas and the Gazans uh, the, the paramount question being that are they even willing to do so well it's a very difficult task um, Gaza Strip is densely populated over two million people live there uh, more than half of that is the refugee population that were um, displaced from their um, 
homes uh, at the creation of Israel. Um, so uh, it's to differentiating uh, Hamas combatant and militant from civilians is going to be almost impossible. And that is why I think a ground invasion uh, is going to be a very costly exercise for civilians, but also for the Israeli soldiers who have to engage in house-to-house -house combat. Right, Professor Akbar Zadeh, thanks very much for joining us on thanks Real and me. sharing your insights. And as we continue our rolling coverage of the Israel-Hamas conflict, we bring you live visuals from the Gaza Strip a week into the conflict now. The Strip is under heavy bombing from the Israeli side. According to the Israeli Defense Forces, all of 6,000 bombs have been pounded over the Gaza Strip since Saturday. And these are live visuals from the Gaza Strip. As you can see, uh, plumes of smoke rising from the buildings after intense bombing from the Israeli side.